Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to Cat World Rim World or Rim World Cat World, whichever way you want to do it. So in last uh, week's episode, we managed to get a little prison built and also some defenses. Uh, now we have an issue. We have a big issue with all this storage, all these leathers and things, and they are also pushing up our um, wealth. Yeah, it's pushing up our wealth quite bad as well. So we're going to have to have a think about what to do with this lot. If we do have a look at the map. They're hostile. That's a hunting work site. They're hostile. Everybody around us. Ah, this one is neutral. It's quite a ways away, isn't it? We're going to have to think very seriously about what we are going to do. Well, let's hope we get a trade soon and then we can hope a uh, trade that'll buy some of this stuff off us. If not, we're going to have to think about sending a couple of our colonists out to that place to trade. Now then, this end of everything is looking great. What we need to do in this episode is try and get a kitchen built and a freezer. We should have enough power for now, but we will also extend the power out get another one of these in and then some at some point incorporate the um, guys up. So, how many blocks do we have, my dearie? Oh, awesome. We've got quite a few blocks. Let's uh, plan it out and get start building. Okay, we have a war merchant from the Black Frog Garda. Uh, do war merchants actually want leathers and stuff? Uh, come and see if this guy wants to buy our stuff and things. Because if he does, that is going to be bloody awesome. Okay, let's have a look. It's a war merchant, so I doubt it. Nah, they don't. They don't want to buy any of it. Well, let's have a quick look and see what they do have to sell. Uh, buy even. We've only got 254. We can however get rid of... Bow steel knife. <laughs> oh gosh. Revolver pull, we can get rid of that. Shot bow, awful. We can get rid of all that gubbins. Do you want a shot bow? No, not really. Uh, I don't think we want a lot else. Got enough medicine. We've got. I mean, to make a bit of money, we can get rid of a bit of pemmican. Not component, baby. Pemmican. We're only going to get 140, but it's, you know, it's better than... Uh, it's better than now, isn't it? It's better than slapping the ass. Oh, no. Snow and Yeti have got gut worms. Ugh. Oh, we need some medical beds. Um, This one can be used as a medical bed. And... Do, 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 do. Let's make snows into a medical bed for now as well. Uh, bless. So our doctor is actually Binks. He's okay. So what we're going to do is get him to prioritize tending. Uh, Yeti, get over here. Oh, he's going there automatic automatically. Binksy. When you've done that, my lovely. And you, um, oh, he's up. <laughs> Can you go and see to Yeti when he gets himself to bed? Prioritise tending. There we go. And we'll keep these guys coming back and forth to bed. And try and get them healed as quickly as we can. Because gut worms. Ew. And our shuttle has arrived for Pepe and Akimi, the two llamas. So let's go and see where that's landing. Right over there. Uh, yet is in bed, uh, so let's say uh, auto load, and somebody should start to carry that when they get out of the bed in the morning. If not, we shall micromanage and get them to carry it, because <laughs> obviously the llamas that are in the paddock over here can't uh, quite break it themselves. I believe this is one. Is that Pepe and Pocket Two, Akimi. These two. We just need Yeti to get out of bed. 
Ah, oh, let's do it now. Prioritize letting the shuttle. Come on, dude. Get out of bed and do that for us. And then we can get this quest done. Pods have arrived. Right, I forgot what we actually ordered. What did we order? A Silic New Reformer. Absolutely get that to hold him double bloody quick, mate. Double quick. <laughs> I forgot it was something as important as that. I couldn't remember what it was. Okay, so we're going to take Snow and we're going to use the New Reformer to form a Silic. So where are you, Snow? Let's go, Snow. Here we go, awesome stuff. So now Snow has Psycasts, and we are using a mod that um, expands the Psycasts from vanilla. So you can see we've got all these lovely ones here. We've got Archon, Archotex, Chronopath, Configurator, Empath, Frost Shaper. Well, you know what? He is called Snow. <laughs> so I'm thinking Frost Shaper for him. We've got Night Stalkers. Warlords, Technomancers, we've got all sorts of stuff and things. <sighs> yeah, he's called Snow. Let's go for the Frost Sherpa. Nice. So now we have to do is meditate and we can get more points and stuff and things. And we get one now. We do have available points to spend one. So we can do, oh, hmm, Ice Shield or Ice Spike or Breathe Ice. Oh. Let's go for the shield for now. Oh, that is brilliant. Let's have a look at that. Go into draft mode and we cast shield on himself. That he's got a nice little shield on himself now. So any like projectiles or any inbound, you know, nasty stuff. Hopefully that ice shield will protect him a little bit and also keep him cool, me thinks. <laughs> Okay, so if you look at the information for Snow, it says under in uh, here, Medifa Medication, oh my goodness me, Medication Focus Type Artistic. So he's only going to be able to meditate at something artistic. So we need to be doing now, is on our, uh, here, we have a stone cutter's table. And now we have the wooden art bench. So we're going to add a bill for a small sculpture just for now. And detail. I don't know who's got the best art. Who's got the best art? For zero on zero. It's going to be our Yeti again, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, details. Any worker. Let's put it to Yeti. And we're not going to use steel or gold or anything. Maybe wood should be okay. But we're going to get him to do that straight away. And then we can get snow into doing some meditating. Oh, he's going to make it out of some blocks. Let's see what he comes up with. Okay, he's nearly there. Nearly there. What's he going to be, Yeti? What masterful creation have you created? I think he's out of marble. Winter has begun as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our second winter, guys. Already. My goodness me. Come on, dude. What have you made us? Come on. Nearly there. Oh, there he goes. He's going to go and dump it over here, I think. Let's go and see what it is. Okay, it is a poor one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. But we're going to quickly install into Snow's bedroom here. Uh, Binks, quickly do that for me, lovely. And then we can get him a miscellaneous meditation spot. So at least... He can do a bit of meditating. So, Snoo. I'm going to knock you off one wreck. And put you... Actually, no, we will. Put you three meditation on the morning and three wreck at night. And um, for meditating now, he will get some points. And we'll be able to, with more points, get more and more different little things up here on his little ladder. And also, pump, it up, pump up the power. Pump up the power. 
and we'll try and get some more side casts for Binks and Yeti and the others as well. And now the shuttle has arrived for our guest, so we're going to auto load that and hopefully he should be getting in it himself. <laughs> See ya! Thanks for coming to stay! Have a safe journey now. Bye! Okay, so that's quest completed and the pods have arrived. Ooh, looky, looky, looky. We got a masterwork. Insights on markmanship and elder text school path. School cats. <laughs> I can't speak today and a skill trader in mining. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and we have a combat supplier now. So, Binks, let's go and see what this chappy or chap S has for sale. Turn trade with bear. Right, they're just like wandering about all you know like they don't care <laughs> come on in come on in as you can see we have uh got most of the oh hello i'll tell you about that in a minute now this mono sword i think i'm gonna get rid of it because i don't think we need it um again it's a combat supplier so they're not buying any of this which is really 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 annoying uh i'm gonna get rid of these because they are poor statues absolutely booer and is that just like a normal book i think it is i'm gonna get rid of mm. no i'll keep though i'll keep hold of that there's not much else i can sell and there's not much else i really really want to be honest with you and uh, look recurve bows we don't need any of that we can't afford the recall armor uh so again, a bit of a piss poor slap in the ass, isn't it? Damn. The traders have had a bit of a social fight. So we're going to rescue Ollie and we're going to steal the smart grenades. And that as well. <laughs> Binks, come and put Ollie into bed, love. There we go. Pop him in there. Give him a bit of healing. And hopefully he'll be healed up, ready to go. Oh no, they're leaving. They can leave without him. Charming. Well, hopefully when he's fit and well, he can uh, get out there and join them. Oh my goodness, I don't believe they're leaving him behind. Our little Ollie the Ranger, who was part of the caravan, is now up and about, fully healed. And he's now leaving us. Said his goodbyes. <laughs> Hopefully he can catch up with his friends. Okie dokie, we have a Psy Link level gained by Snow. So let's be having a look see. And we have one available point. Now we can either go up to Ice Crystal which will create another psychic entropy in the form of a crystal sapping the heat from the room which is be ideal if we're in um, a different biome and things got really really hot but i don't think we need that one we'd have to get that one if we wanted to go further up to there so i think the next one we're going to do uh let's do ice spike to me that sounds rather cool and now if we click on snow and uh, click on draft the ice spike will arrange here at the range. My wording today is very fibro, isn't it? <laughs> what we're going to do is right click on to uh, make it do. Obviously, I'll try again, shall we? We're going to right click on it to enable auto casting. There we go. I got it out. So when we're in battle now, it will auto cast that. Hey dear, what a day. We are deep, deep in winter now, and our progress is halted once again by the need of a miner. Now, hopefully, our little quirky is going to grow up soon, get um, a little bit bigger, because they're at six. So I think it's at seven. They get their first spike, and then they'll hopefully get some more things that they're able to do. And we're going to use the um, skill trainer mining on quirky and make them into our miner until they are fully grown 
and then one of the guys, Big Sauce, you know, will inject their Xeno germs and make them into a cat. So that's the plan. And why did I do it this way? Because I didn't want things to be too easy. And one of the biggest things you need in RimWorld is a miner. So I thought I'd like to do a playthrough where, you know, we're kind of stuck on that aspect. So that's the reason. And we have another trader, but this time it's a shaman. And shaman do not want all this stuff. And it's too cold to travel. Oh my goodness, we really need to get rid of this. As soon as the weather gets better, we're going to have to go and trade if a decent trader doesn't come. Um, I don't really want to get rid of any animals at the minute. We've got a rooster and a hen. Piglet, you can have a piglet. Um, a yak car. I don't really want to get rid of anything else. <laughs> oh, we've got a good sculpture for a change. And it's a cat. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. But yeah, they don't have a lot that we want, guys, to be honest with you. So, uh, another rubbish trader. But I'll tell you what we'll do now. Since we've got the other statue, is we'll uninstall that one. And where is it? Hello? There it is. We'll install the better one. There we go. It is actually in the shape of a cat. And it says... A torso sized piece of material sculpted in fantastic form. On this carving is a portrayal of two darts. The overall position is well balanced. <laughs> now I did add a mod for doormats. So I'm wondering... If we use doormats, if it's going to make our... It will use some of this, and it will also put up our wealth as well. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's have some nice checkered ones. Let's do the uh, alpaca wool checkered. And I like to do double doormats on the outside doors. And what doormats do, guys, is they cut down the filth a little bit. Uh, there's one. It just might give us a little bit more storage <laughs> if I use some of that stuff up. We shall see, won't we? Hello, what's this? Masterwork. Oh my god, no. Big stop creating masterworks. Because they just make your wealth go up even more. Look at it. <laughs> And we are due a raid. We are so due a raid. And our next event is some mad mufflers. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. Your college is so okay, but it seems many of the mufflers in the area have been driven insane. How many? Two. Okay. So what we're going to do is make sure everybody is in the home safe. And hopefully these mufflers will wander into our traps. Uh, I don't think we've got any gaps in our outer wall. So we should be okay. Okay, we had some visitors who sorted that out. Uh, we can trade. I don't know if we're going to buy anything of us at all. But we're going to get Yeti to come and finish off the um, this buffalo. Buffalo, buffalo. <laughs> buffalo, buffalo. <laughs> come on, Yeti. Come and finish it off, my lovely. Because that, and this one as well, that is going to give us lots of fur and lots of wool, as uh, meats, furs, wools, you name it, the lot. So, Binksy. Oh, it's not a trader. Oh, it's one of those bloody royal collectors. Poo. <laughs> we need to get rid of this bloody stuff. Oh my goodness me. When? Can we get rid of it? It's just getting mounting up and mounting up. Now we've got muffalo fur and meats and stuff. Oh my goodness, look at it all. We need to get rid of it. Okay, we have a new crack quest. Oh my goodness, we have a new quest. Kamaru Chinchilla, Yogi Chief of the Black Front Guard, I want you to stash a special prisoner for him. The prisoner, a 22-year-old assembler named Gonzalo Zimmerman, 
There's embarrassing information. Oh dear. <laughs> you may need, only need to keep the prisoner for six days and we can get some LTEX. Uh, Dungan's investigation into taming. Ooh. And a gene pack pail. Uh, not really into the gene pack. Goodwill. Hmm. But this book. Yeah, I think we can go for that. Okay, so the pods have arrived. Jump to location. And big seat. Arrest. Good job we got a prison, didn't it? <laughs> Bring him in, Binks. Bring him in. And there we go. A prisoner. Our first prisoner. Oh my goodness me. Well, as you can probably tell from this episode, guys, I am quite badly struggling with my fibro today. I can barely speak properly. And uh, yeah, I'm struggling. So what I'm going to do is I'm cut this episode short a little bit earlier while we watch Snow and teach Quirky some things. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. So thanks ever so much for watching and thank you to the new channel members. Your names will be uh, listed at the end of the video. So take care. See, I can't speak, guys. Take care. Take lots of care. Be good. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.